Hello, colleagues. I'm Clayton Vandiver, and I try not to use my first name, Albert. In a career that spans more than 40 years and the nation and involves more than 20,000 hours of broadcast radio and more than 30,000 hours of broadcast television, I have worn a lot of hats since graduating from the Radio, TV, and Film Division of California State University, Long Beach. Now, that's the same school that Steve Martin and Steven Spielberg attended a few years before me. And I've worked with all those hats on as a writer, producer, director, news anchor, editor, videographer, photographer, 3D animator, executive producer, audio technician, radio DJ, on-camera and voiceover talent, and stage actor, company founder, corporate CEO, nonprofit government program, regional administrator, a university professor, corporate media consultant, candidate for public office occasionally, and webmaster or board member for multiple charitable organizations. Most of these duties have overlapped over the years, and that keeps me very, very busy. I've worked in radio and television broadcast news continuously through three decades of dramatic industry changes, and I've written, produced, and directed hundreds of short films for corporate clients and uh, around the world, and thousands of commercials for regional or national broadcast. Now, I was honored to have taught in the College of Fine Arts, College of Humanities, Communication Division, and the College of Lifelong Learning, all for Jacksonville University, and more recently as the lead faculty area chair for humanities and sciences at the North Florida campus of the University of Phoenix. I earned my Master of Education, Curriculum and Instruction, Technology degree, from Grand Canyon University and an MBA with a concentration in HR management from Louisiana State University, Shreveport. My work never takes me far from my wife of nearly 30 years, three children, and a beautiful granddaughter, and it's always exciting to be able to share my behind-the-scenes experience of working in the media industry, 10 years of which was in the Los Angeles Hollywood market, with students in the classroom. I am a lifelong fan of film. Few people have more appreciation and respect for the role that the media plays in our culture and what influence it wields in our lives. As a film and media studies are so much of my teaching, my dissertation topic is at this point tending toward the semiotic use of film quotes and their communication influence in our culture. I noticed that beautiful Cessna 414, and congratulations to our professor on that level of accomplishment, both as a pilot and an owner. I'm also a lifelong aviation enthusiast and owned a PA-28151 Piper Warrior for 10 years until both 9-11 and the economy uh, set very restrictive limits for flight in my area. It wasn't that much fun to fly anymore, sadly. I can't wait to have another plane. Uh, currently, I hold an FAA certification as a small unmanned aircraft systems pilot, which means I fly drones uh, professionally for aerial cinematic work. I also volunteer with the Civil Air Patrol, the auxiliary of the United States Air Force, and I volunteer on the boards of directors for a museum, an educational library foundation, and a nonprofit education and training resource for, for, for professionals doing advanced care planning and grief support. I live with my family all in the land of sunshine, hurricanes, thick humidity, and angry mosquitoes as large as Volkswagens on Florida's first coast in an area I lovingly refer to as a small town in big cities clothing. It certainly feels that way after living in Los Angeles for 10 years. <laughs> Uh, this class marks my 10th course toward my Ph.D. in communication. At this point, it still feels like an overwhelming climb to the summit. Uh, looking back, it is gratifying to see how far I've come so far. This is, um, as I always like to say, a point in the marathon where your breathing becomes steady, your body begins to draw from your reserve energy, and you become hyper-focused on the road ahead to avoid any obstacles that might slow you down. I wonder if carb loading helps in a Ph.D. program. I certainly hope so. I'm currently on a professionally funded sabbatical. That's a creative spin to say I'm semi-retired to complete my Ph.D. in communication. So, so very blessed to be able to give my full-time attention to this academic adventure. The degree 
will hopefully translate into new opportunities in classrooms, on ground, and online to share my media, film, and performing passion once again with students. After this course, as soon as I begin my dissertation at about this time next year, I'll also begin visiting and applying to my local universities to once again re-enter the workforce. The University of Phoenix, having closed most of its brick-and-mortar facilities around America for the new owners to establish a more online and economical presence, is a business model that I can't fault, but I also can't return to. There are still many options available as a communicator with 40 years of broadcast industry experience, and I hope to share that with the next generation. I wish the very best to my colleagues and our professor as we launch our next step in this great adventure, may God bless. <laughs>